Maya Moore joins us live from Jefferson City, Missouri. Maya, thank you so much for being here. First question, what was it about this particular case that really resonated with you, why you wanted to take it up? Well, the, the beautiful thing about this case and the story is it really happened organically. I wasn't looking for a case to get involved with. I met Jonathan Irons when I was 18 years old through my uh, extended family that I grew up with in Missouri who had been involved in prison ministry. And through them getting to know Jonathan and his wrongful conviction story, I got to know Jonathan and his wrongful conviction story. So that was uh, over 12 years ago. And now I'm at a, at a place where I'm, I'm super invested and, and really wanting to use my platform to help him. And it's uh, we're really, really close. Irons had a hearing yesterday in Jeff City to review evidence necessary to proceed with his appeal. You were there in the courtroom with him. How did it go? Uh, it was it was excruciating and uh, great at the same time. It's such a mixed uh, mix of emotions because he's finally getting a chance to have the truth be. Uh, talked about on the record, witnesses and experts coming in, uh, explaining so clearly uh, the truth of his case and his wrongful conviction, uh, but also excruciating because the the state is, is, is uh, opposing that and, and they're trying to uphold his conviction. And so it's just really hard to see someone who's been through so much continue to get uh, opposition when uh, when all we want is the truth and for justice. And so it was definitely a long day of going through every detail. We were there from nine until four. And uh, we had a, a, a solid little group of us stick with Jonathan the whole day. And it was uh, it was really, really good for him to finally get to say uh, his story and, and to have the truth be shown. The case is going to proceed. Will you keep moving forward from here? Absolutely. The next step is to um, have... Uh, one of the key elements of Jonathan's case is, is fingerprint evidence that was never fully run. And so there is an unidentified usable fingerprint um, that we're, uh, we're going to try to get run, um, as well as updating our petition a little bit to submit it one more time to the judge, and then he can make a decision at any point. What do you say to folks who ask why? Why leave the game? Wouldn't you be so much more impactful if you were playing right now and you had a platform as a forefront athlete? Um, you know, people that know me uh, actually aren't really asking me that question. People that know me really well uh, say it totally makes sense of what I'm doing and, and the direction that I'm moving. But obviously everybody doesn't know me. Um, and for those who, who only know me on my basketball platform, it can definitely be surprising and shocking. But, um, you know, Sometimes I think we get confused in, in thinking where impact really lies. And, and as I've gotten older and, and grown and, you know, I just turned 30 this year and, and understanding that a lot of times impact is more with the people that you're actually living life with and around. And so I've really enjoyed having a chance this year to uh, experience that impact and receive that impact by having some uh, actual relationships with people and showing up for things that, that really matter most. And, um, you know, I think there's a place for all of it, the kind of the big kind of surface impact, but then there's that deep rooted impact that has been so meaningful to me this year. You just said you're 30, you left at the top of your game, you are hardly old. So fans obviously want to know, are you going to return? So far you haven't given a specific timetable, but are you going to return to the WNBA or have you retired? So in my initial announcement through the Players' Tribune article, I said I wanted to take a year away um, and, and, and do all the things that I'm doing now. And so a year from my announcement is, is next spring. So that's my, my goal, to still uh, wait that full year and then come back to the table and see what's next. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.